Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Welcome to the immunodeficiency chapter, where we'll be focusing on primary or inherited causes of immunodeficiency. We won't be talking about acquired immunodeficiency due to drugs, aging, or infection here. Check out the Sketchy Micro course for a great discussion on one of the major acquired immunodeficiency disorders you need to know, AIDS caused by HIV infection. Primary immunodeficiency is a whole nother beast. Specifically in this sketch, we'll focus on inherited defects in humoral and cell-mediated immunity. That means a deficiency of B cells and their antibodies, or a deficiency of T cells. In the next sketch, we'll focus on disorders of mixed B and T cell dysfunction. In parts three and four of this series, we'll cover inherited defects of innate immunity. Specifically, defects in the complement system and phagocytic cells. To start off our discussion of primary immunodeficiency, we're going to watch a dysfunctional primary school play, reenacting the war between Great Bruton and the ragtag revolutionaries led by George Washington. Welcome to the Continental Army Camp and opening night for our fifth grade production of 1776. Yay. It's been five months since the Continental Congress declared the independence of American colonies. General George Washington and his troops are camped along the Delaware River on Christmas night. They're preparing to load into shallow boats to cross 300 yards of icy river to fight for liberty. All right, take a look at this sad, injured soldier and narrator. Those crutches are our recurring sketchy symbol for immunodeficiency. And before we meet the British Army, let's head out to the crowd for a brief discussion on the features common to all primary immunodeficiency disorders. First, the easy one. In general, patients with primary immunodeficiency have increased susceptibility to infections. I mean, just check out those snazzy viral and bacterial-looking hats worn by these hip moms in the crowd. The type of bacterial, viral, protozoal, or fungal infections a patient is susceptible to largely depends on the component of the immune system that's affected, which we'll highlight when we meet each disease. Second, paradoxically, patients with primary immunodeficiency have an increased susceptibility to a bunch of different autoimmune disorders, represented here by a bunch of autoreactive antibody-shaped hair clips. I know, I know, their immune systems are weak. How are they mounting this mysterious overreactive immune response against themselves? Just think of it this way. If your immune system is defective, a lot of the immune regulatory mechanisms will be defective as well, resulting in an overall immune dysregulation, allowing more autoreactive B and T cells to slip through than usual. Autoimmune cytopenias, inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis-like manifestations, lupus-like systemic manifestations, and many other disorders can develop in patients with all types of primary immunodeficiency. Autoimmunity can develop at any age and at any stage in the course of the disease. Third, another weird one. Patients with primary immunodeficiency are at an increased risk for a bunch of different kinds of malignancies. In fact, after infection, malignancy is the second most common cause of death in these patients. The most common malignancy seen in primary immunodeficiency is lymphoma, especially the non-Hodgkin variety. At Sketchy, our recurring symbol for lymphoma is a chessboard filled with B-cell archers and T-cell knights. Kind of like a lymph node overrun with neoplastic lymphocytes. You know what I mean? So, in the front row, we've drawn in a distracted audience member. Playing the hit new handheld title, Sweeping the Nation. Chess. Other cancers can arise too, like gastric adenocarcinoma or colorectal cancer in X-linked A-gamma globulinemia. Hence the cancer crab design of his gaming console. Although the reason for increased susceptibility to cancer in these patients is unclear, there are many proposed mechanisms, including decreased clearance of oncogenic viruses. The immune system also plays a key role in surveillance for pre-malignant and malignant cells. So if the immune system ain't working, neoplastic cells come a-knockin'. 